This looks like a rifle stock, but this is actually a complete rifle, complete uh, lock, stock, and barrel. How's that? Um, it and it all contains. It's all contained here inside the stock. This is the AR7 Explorer, or sometimes called the survival rifle. Um, it's like nothing else. Let's check it out. If we remove the butt plate, just snaps on and off. It's kind of got a little ring around there, so it's not quite watertight, but it's probably dust proof. Um, we remove the butt plate, and inside is everything you need to assemble a complete rifle. The first piece we'll pull out is the barrel. All right, here's the eight round magazine. This is a semi automatic rifle. Here is our trigger group and receiver. All right, we're going to take this trigger group. Just going to slide it into the stock. Here's a screw here at the, at the base of the grip. This will screw in. This is going to lock everything together. All right, so just a few turns. Now we've got the receiver secured to the stock. Let's go ahead and put this butt plate back on for now. All right, the barrel, there's a little alignment piece on here. We'll get this thing set up and we're just going to screw the barrel now into place has this locking ring. It takes several turns. We get that secured. And there we've got pretty much our completed rifle. We've got an eight round magazine. There we go. We've got a 22 caliber rifle assembled just like that. And this will fit in your backpack if you're taking it camping or if you want to have a like a survival gun in your in your truck if you're up, you know, in the uh, the great northwest or uh, you know, you're in Alaska, you need a survival rifle. Um, but you can have one. This is, called, this is the AR-7. Um, currently being made by Henry. This is an older version. Uh, this rifle originated, it's built and designed by Armalite originally, and it was designed by Eugene Stoner, the same guy who designed the AR-15. So you thought Stoner was a, was a one-trick one wonder. Nope, he also did the AR-7. Let's take a closer look at this. So your your bolt handle, it, you know, we have it we have it sticking out like that, so we get a we can get our finger onto it, so we can feed that so we can feed that first round like most semi-automatic rifles would. But when you go to when you go to store it in the stock, <laughs> to make it more compact, more slim, more trim, more aerodynamic, more sleek, that bolt handle just goes pushing right inside, so it takes up less space in that stock. Um, kind of a cool little thing. The uh, this thing's got a lot of little details to it that I, that I really like. It does have adjustable sights. Um, you see the screw here and this little tiny aperture. We would um, adjust it, you know, for elevation by sliding, loosening the screw and sliding that rear aperture up or down to, you know, sight the rifle in. But we could also give this rear sight a 180 and there's a larger aperture down here if we wanted to have a larger sight, more like a ghost ring sight. So we've got this small, maybe more of a target sight, maybe this larger, more of a, maybe a combat sight or a ghost ring sight, like, like I said. But they both are adjustable for elevation. If you need to make an adjustment for windage, this front sight is dovetailed in, and we just drift it from right, right to left. So you can sight this rifle in to be pretty accurate. Maybe small game hunting, something like that. All right, the first thing you notice, it's so light. Um, and when you bring it to your shoulder, this stock, is, 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 even though it looks big and bulky, it's a huge, big black stock, that's where it's hollow and that's where there's no weight to it. Um, any kind of weight you're going to feel right like in the center of the gun, which kind of gives it a little bit of a balance. But as you shoot it, you do see this is a very, very light, light weight gun. Um, there's nowhere to put your, <laughs> your left hand. Uh, on the barrel, at the magazine, at the juncture, the two. It's kind of an awkward feel there, but it's not uncomfortable at all. It's a little bit, little bit close in, but you can 
can find a little bit of comfort to it. Um, overall, it's a lightweight gun. It's good at what it does. It's not a target rifle. I wouldn't even call it a hunting rifle. It's your survival rifle. And at the end of the day, when we're all done playing, we'll set that aside. We'll loosen up our receiver. We'll take the barrel off. Drop our magazine and everything will go right back into the stock where we found it. Receiver in place, magazine in place. We'll put that barrel in there. Put that stock together again. There we go. Put this behind the seat in the truck. Throw it in your backpack. Maybe a gym bag, off you go. Overall, I think it's a fun little rifle. Um, 22s are just great planking shooting. You know, they're quiet, they're no recoil. Um, just fun shooting cans and things like that. Um, and this, this really suits that. It's, it's, a, it's a compact little thing that you can take it along, you know, on a camping trip. And then, you know, if you want to have a little activity on a go shoot, pine cones out of trees or you want to you know do a little target practice is a nice one to take along it's like i said it's very very light it's very compact and it's a lot of fun um i don't really foresee myself being in a survival situation where i'll, where I'll need a gun like this but as far as on a picnic or a camping trip this would be a fun one to take along overall yeah, i give it a thumbs up